Hey, good people out there, YouTube world. This video today is going to encompass two hunts I did, one on the beach with uh, my club buddy, Clearwater Mike, where I find uh, a gold ring, one of my rare gold finds on the beach. And then uh, after me and Mike uh, break up, we weren't finding much on that beach and he headed home. I called Mr. Troy since I was down in the St. Pete area. And he says, I'm heading out to door knock right now. Start heading my way. And uh, I'll probably have a permission by the time you get here. And he did, guys. And you'll see that there, too. All righty, guys. Enjoy this video of my very first and only two gold find day. All righty. Hey, gang. Rob here. I am on Pasadena Beach. We have just fig uh, finished our club hunt for uh, 400 silver dimes. Uh, we do once a year. It's called our, our silver fun hunt for everybody that's paid their dues on time. You get to come down here and search an area for... Uh, for 400 silver dimes I got and uh, I got a, I got a few today a little less than I usually do but we did okay and uh, now we're gonna be doing the beach here guys in Pasadena and uh, it's absolutely beautiful it's in the mid 70s it's a little breezy Clearwater Mike's out there in the water and we're gonna get to it guys all right there is Clearwater Mike out there in the water let me zoom in on him he's out there doing the water he's got his gray ghost waterproof headphones guys I'm up here doing the dry sand line there's not many people but there's the dry sand line where the big things are. And guys, I've got one pool tab and a piece of uh, tin foil. And guys, there's my third signal. Look at that. I just got me a ring to start the day. All right. Where'd they go? Right here? Hey guys, there's a whole pod of uh, stingrays right here. There he is right there. Look at that. Guys, this is just way too cool. All right, guys, um, signals have been kind of slim here, but we got ourselves a solid but deep 25. And we got ourselves a dime that's been down there a long time. All right. Well, guys, I haven't filmed in over probably a half hour, 45 minutes because we haven't found anything. Mike's got one nickel around there, so I'm doing better than him. But guys, I got a real low grunty nine signal here. And guys, you can bet your ass I was pretty excited when that started coming out. thought I had some bling, but it's a three-way swivel uh, lead for fishing. All right. All right, guys, here is the transition from our beach hunt to, uh, to going down to St. Pete to hunt with Troy. And as you can see, I get there just as he's uh, getting us a permission you can see him through my mirror talking to the uh, folks there on their front porch and he got us this nice little corner lot. I score gold and Mr. Troy scores silver. Nice little corner lot. Look at that gang. Out the side of your mirror I'm watching Troy in action get us another permission on a nice size corner lot. The guy is a freaking permission animal. All right. Guys I got a 1213 here. It took two holes to find it. It says 10k on it. It does say 10k? Yeah, it's right under the pin. Right under the so pin, I guys. Did. I just got Yeah. I just hey, I just dropped it. Look how teeny this thing is. I dropped it. Are you serious? It's open game now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find Somebody it. got a metal detector? Yeah, yeah. Watch out. Alright, let me do it with this. There it is. Okay. Guys, this could be my second gold of the day. Uh, Greg's right, that says 10K. Good find, man. And it says EPR 10K, and then below the 10K it says something. Um, this is a crest of a school, or it says, this is theoretically something member. Oh, this is like a fraternal pin. GH member GS Which fraternal starts with GS? Okay. And the 10k is right there underneath the uh, little Wow guys on a bouncy 12 13 signal that took me two digs to find Wow Wow, could you imagine if I get two golds in one day? And guys, Mr. Uh, Troy starts waving his arm, which is not our silver signal. Waving the hat is the silver signal. I didn't 
didn't want to take my uh, he didn't want to take his earplugs off, but he's got silver, guys. He just got himself a a rosy. That's a nice looking rosy. What year did you say? I think it says 1950 something. 1956. Very nice. Clears the bell. 50, something. yeah, 56 or 58, and it's a D mint mark. Nice. Oh, see, look, Rob's what dropping shit. You? you dropped your gold. You dropped the silver. Yeah. And I lost my gold uh, tie tack last week, or or. <laughs> I did. I found a gold vintage uh, cufflink. Lost it. Alrighty, guys. There is the house that Troy got us to start with, the corner lot. And then while we were doing that, he came over here and he got us this corner lot. Uh, they think that's a 26 or 27. We'll find out the age of this one. Guys, I just got part of an inside of a gearing of a pocket watch. All right. Oh, and Mr. Dalton has called me. And he's got our find of the year. So you'll be seeing that soon. All right, good people. The pocket watch part came out right there. And right here, I've got the dust cover nut for a Ford valve stem. Probably a Model T. We'll check and see if that says Schrader. And I've also got something more in the hole. Okay, guys, Tori's already got his third weedy over here. And he's right, it's a 20-something. It's a 28. That's his third weedy on this third permission he's gotten, and it's within an hour. Uh, we're now a block and a half from our first one where our truck was. And this is his third weedy here and one on the first property. We didn't do very well on the second one, but 28. So he's got a 92-year-old 90, coin here. Nice, buddy. There we go. Thanks, man. As you can tell, it's getting to be sunset, guys, and we're all just dead on our feet. Gang, that was the last find of the day. It was, uh, sun was setting fast, and Troy had worked most of the day and then came out and hunt, so he was pretty tired. And here's the great news, guys. I took this little ring I got at the beach with Clover to Mike to my jeweler, because it had no markings on it, but Mike kept saying, Rob, that's got to be gold. There's just, there's just no corrosion, uh, no green on it, anything. So I took it to my jeweler, and I said, hey, this has no markings. Can you guys test this, see if it's 10 carat? So I saw two of them over there huddling over and testing it, and then I saw them test it again, and then I saw them test it again, and then the two guys from my jewelry place walked over and they go, Rob, we've tested this three times, and it tested positive for 10K, it tested positive for 14K, it tested positive for 18K, and then we tested it for 22K, and it just started to fade at 22K, so Rob, we think this is 20K but it's at least 18 carat, maybe 20. Guys, what a great little find for an unmarked ring. And they offered to buy it right there, but I said, no, nope, that's okay. So guys, one of, my, one of my best gold finds there. And guys, this is gold find two and three for me. The gold cufflink was number one. And in a 14 day period, guys, I got four gold finds. So be looking out for that fourth gold find. It's coming soon and it's the best one. Alrighty. Thank you.